Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Nancy Drew The Final Scene. My name is Azzy and I will be your Let's Player for today. So what I want you to do is kick back, relax, turn off those lights, turn up that volume and let's get started. Now this, this is definitely for sure my favorite Nancy Drew game. Probably of all time. It's pretty up there, it's pretty up there. So, um, let's just get right into it. We're gonna do Senior Detective because we are not a wimp. Dear Bess, remember Maya Wynn from high school? I'm visiting her in St. Louis. We have tickets to tonight's premiere of the new Brady Armstrong movie, Vanishing Destiny. It's the last screening ever at the Royal Palladium. This place has been a landmark for almost a century. And now, in just three days, it's going to be demolished. I wish I could have seen the theater back in the 20s before it was turned into a movie house. All the great magicians performed here, even Harry Houdini. There's a lot of public opposition to the loss of this historic building. Rumor has it local activists are planning to stage a big protest out front tonight. The theater will be closed when we arrive, but they'll let us in since Maya is covering the story for the university newspaper. Oh boy, a press pass sure does come in handy. Maya told me she has an interesting lead, and we're on our way to interview Brady Armstrong about the controversy now. I know he's one of your favorite stars. Stay tuned. Maya always gets the full scoop. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. is the Royal Palladium Theater. Okay, Nancy, here I go. Lovely background. Cross your fingers, there's a story behind this door. Backstage. Go get them, Scoop. Meet you in the lobby. Testing. <laughs> testing. One, two, three, testing. Is this thing on? Hello? <laughs> Think I'll go check out the snacks. <laughs> Maya? That sounds like Maya! Help! Nancy! Alright, we need to... I don't know why we knocked. We shouldn't just knock. We need to just run in there. Look around. I don't see... I don't see Maya. Oh no! What happened to Maya? Where did she go? No idea. Oh. oh. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? Listen carefully. If they knock the theater down, a girl goes with it. What? Who is this? Hello? Hello? I guess I'm not gonna answer. Alright, so that somebody has kidnapped. You'll never get away with this. Do you hear me? Uh, hello? Um, you're messing with the wrong girls, whoever you are. You're messing with the wrong girls, whoever you are. She's a reporter and I'm a detective, and we don't scare easy. Um, this is Joseph Hughes, the caretaker. I'm looking for Brady Armstrong. He said he'd be there. Who's this? And what's all the excitement? My friend's disappeared from Brady's dressing room. Help. My friend has disappeared from Brady's dressing room. I heard her scream. I think she's been kidnapped. Now, now, please try to calm down and tell me what's going on. What's your name, dear? My name's Nancy Drew. My name is Nancy Drew. Maya Wynn is my friend, and she's gone. I was out in the hall when I heard her scream. I don't know how they could have taken her. Disappeared from the men's dressing room? What makes you think she was taken? Well, I did receive a call. I just received a threatening call, saying if I don't stop the theater demolition, I'll never see her again. Well, they must have taken her through that secret passageway. Holy smokes! And you're on an inside line! That call must have come from inside the building. We gotta act quick. You check out the secret passageway. I'll make sure all the exits are locked, and then I'll come find you. All right. Well... Hello? Hey, you. No groupies in the dressing rooms. But since you're such a rascally fan, what would you say to a signed autograph from yours truly? Uh, I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? Take a breath and pinch yourself because it's really happening. Brady Armstrong in the flesh. So full of yourself. <clears throat> Star of Vanishing Destiny? Go ahead, faint. I'll catch you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I came with my friend Maya to see the premiere tonight. I'm Nancy. Maya was just here a minute ago. Did you see her? Remind me not to appoint you president of my fan club. So what was your friend doing in my dressing room? Weren't you expecting her? Weren't you expecting her? I thought she emailed you to set up an interview for her article. All my email goes through Simone. She reads it, she writes back. Control issues, you know? Off the record, any message that says love Brady is just a big electronic smooch from her. Um, is that your agent? Simone, is that your agent? Simone Mueller, CEO of my life. Uh, I mean, my agent. 
Focus on being wholesomely smoldering, she says, and leave the rest to me. So I do. She's been setting up Premier HQ in the women's dressing room. Haven't you heard her snarling at people on the phone? Um, I wonder if she's heard anything about Maya. So you didn't hear a girl screaming. So you didn't hear a girl screaming a few minutes ago? Maybe you better tell me what's going on here. I heard Maya, scre Maya scream. I heard Maya scream. When I got here, she was gone, vanished. And then I got a creepy phone call from the kidnapper. But where could they have taken her? What did they say? It's something to do with the demolition. It's something to do with the demolition of the theater. The voice said, if they knock the theater down, the girl goes with it. Those stinking radicals. Uh, what radicals? What radicals? They're the ones who are flipping out over saving this theater. Nicholas Falcone and his tree hugger pals. Um, so she may still be in the building. She may still be in the building. We've got to search this place from top to bottom. Roger. All right, let's search this place. He said secret passageway, so we need to find this secret passageway. So let's look around, see if we can find anything. Let's knock it. It's this is also like one of my favorite. They have great music, great suspense, great story. All right, well, that opens something. Who are you? All right, so that's, so that opened up something, but we don't know what. Hello, I got something in my inventory. Yeah, so these, um, if you see in the bottom left-hand corner, well, I just erased that. Bottom left-hand corner, there we go. Every time I roll my mouth, mouse over it, it goes away. Um, that, Day, we're on day one, so this is going to take place over a few days. So we need to figure out, this is the secret passageway, they must, oh, I guess I'm going a little fast. There's nothing in this that would say, hey, May Maya was down here. But it didn't leave us into somebody's wardrobe. I may have to cut this short, Hal. Someone just climbed out of my wardrobe. Can't you see I'm on the phone here? Um, this is an emergency? This is an emergency. I'm looking for a 19-year-old girl with black hair. Listen, sweetheart, I have a premiere tonight and no stylist for my star. So don't tell me about problems. But this is an emergency. But this is an emergency. I said scram. Ugh. Well, let's look around a little bit. Maybe we can find something useful, something we need to do. I don't see her anywhere, then probably not behind here. I don't know if you know this, this is, um, this looks like it's from Stay Tuned for Danger, and so is this. Just pointing that out because I thought that was a nice little touch. Actually, some of that stuff is probably from there. That's where we came from. Alright. I don't see anything of importance in this room, so... Anything... I'm gonna search around a little bit, see if we can find any clue, any... Lace where she might be. Can go this way or this way. Let's see what's this way. Why, hello, everybody. The Great Persile. The. the what is it? Um. How now, brown cow? Yas. I don't know if you've ever seen that episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog, but I absolutely love the episode called The Great Vasili. Uh, just because they have this fantastic music and it's really creepy. Like this carnival music that's like the absolute creepiest. And I'm just I'm just following this way because reasons. Um, let's see. There's some stairs. Anything down here we need this is an out of order machine, not really of any importance. Brady Armstrong and Vanishing Destiny. Hmm. Hello, my friend. Is there anything over here first? Let's look this way first. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. No teeny boppers till showtime. House rules. Okay, have you seen my friend? Have you seen my friend Maya? She's 19, 5'5", five, five, black hair. She has on running shoes, jeans, and a black shirt with butterflies on it. And the crisis is... Um, she went into Brady Armstrong's dressing room and I can't talk and disappeared. She went into Brady Armstrong's dressing room and disappeared. Good old Charmstrong. Why are women always losing themselves over him? 
This is this serious. This is serious. I think she's been kidnapped. Whew. Kidnapping? <laughs> That's a high-profile tactic. Somebody means business. The phone call. So what's the demands? The phone call was awful. The phone call was awful. They want the demolition stopped. No kidding. <laughs> That'll blast those bureaucrats and corporate bigwigs out of their dream world. Applause for the cause. We need all the help we can get. Excuse me? Excuse me? We're talking about a girl's life here. I'm sorry. I know you're upset, but they won't mess with your friend. They just took her for effect. It's called making a statement. Oh, so it's just a pretend kidnapping. Oh, so this is just a pretend kidnapping. I never would have guessed. Maya's scream sounded so real. She'll be okay. Trust me. Right. Right. I need to start searching for evidence, but I'll be back with more questions for you, Nicholas. If you need a phone, there's an outside line in the ticket booth. Suspicious little. All right, I'm going to search a little bit more before I call 911, before I rush to conclu uh, to jump jump the bar, rush to conclusions. Um, you know what I mean. I'm going to look up here in this room, see if there's anything anything useful. Don't touch that oh. projector, dear. It's a temperamental old beast. Why, hello there, darling. You must be Nancy. The worry's written all over your face. Well, I'm Joe. I started to look for you, but then I figured better to park myself and let you find me. Any trace of your friend? Well, I found the passageway. I found the secret passageway, all right, but no sign of Maya. I can't believe this is happening. Well, what about calling the police? There's an outside line in the ticket booth. That's a good That's idea. That's a good idea. All right, so we need to go and call the police. Um, I, I don't know why I'm still sticking around here looking for clues, but maybe there's something useful. Clayton Projector! Oh, interesting. Loops are correct. Blah, blah, blah. Cleaning and maintenance. Housing key. There was a key here. No shit. All right, well, on that note, nice little cola can. Anything of you? Yep, whatever that is. I think it's a light bulb of some sorts, I guess. Or a fuse. Maybe it's a fuse. I always thought it was a light bulb, but I don't know. I have no idea. I don't work with projectors. Anything over here? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe she came up here to these little things. Who knows? Hello. Let's just lean over the edge and fall over. Alright, so we're gonna go back. We're going to search the... Well, we're gonna go to the lobby and we're gonna use that phone call in the ticket booth. We're gonna call the police, let them know what's, what's up, what's going on. You know, it took me a while to actually call 911 when I first played. The first time I ever played this game, I was like... Okay, I was so stuck walking around wandering, not sure what to do, and then I was like, oh yeah, just call 911. Duh. St. Louis Police Department. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. Is the kidnapping in progress? No. Hold on, miss. I'll transfer you to the missing persons unit. Missing persons, Sergeant Mac Ramsey speaking. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. No longer in progress. And who am I speaking with, please? My name is Nancy Drew. Okay, Miss Drew. Now, did you witness this kidnapping? No, but I heard it. What exactly did you hear? My friend went into a dressing room. I was out in the hall, and I heard her scream. So I went in after her, but she was gone. When and where did this happen? Just now, at the Royal Palladium Theater. And what's your friend's name, Miss Drew? Maya Wynn. Can you spell that, please? M-A-Y-A, -A, last name N-G-U-Y-E-N. -E Age? 19. Physical description. She's Asian-American, I guess about 5'5", five, five, long black hair. So you didn't actually witness anything, is that right? I heard her screaming, and I received a threatening phone call. That must count for something. A threat. Can you describe the voice? Was it a man or a woman? It was spooky. I think they were using some voice disguise device. Hmm, yes. That'll make it impossible to tell the gender of the caller. Did you notice anything suspicious looking in the vicinity? No. No suspects. Any visible signs of struggle in the dressing room? Did your friend leave anything behind? Her purse? Anything that might have fallen out of her pockets? No. No evidence? Does your friend work at the theater? No, she's a student at Washington University. Does your friend have any enemies? Maya? I highly doubt it. And what business did Maya have entering the theater dressing room? She's a reporter for the school paper. She was there to do an interview. What about Maya's parents? Have they been contacted? They're in Vietnam this time of year. I don't know how to contact them. Okay, miss. I'll file this report. 
After 24 hours, if she hasn't turned up, we consider her a missing person and begin to investigate. Really? How can she turn up? She's been kidnapped! Unlikely. With all the scuttlebutt around this demolition, this stinks of student prank. A prank? But this building is going to be demolished in 72 hours! How can we afford to take that chance? How do you mean? The kidnapper must be holding her in the building, don't you think? Unlikely. No competent kidnapper keeps her captive anywhere near the scene of the abduction. Is there anything else, Miss Drew? Sergeant, I really don't think we can afford to wait 24 hours. It's standard procedure, Miss Drew. Unless you can provide us with some evidence that your friend was taken by force, it's 24 hours. Thanks, Sergeant. I'll call you back when I have the evidence. You do that. Bye. If the point was to stop the demolition, obviously the kidnapper is going to keep them near the demolition site. At least I would think so. Just to give them, or make everybody think at least. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, put a like on this video. Comment below if you have any suggestions, any tips, any tricks, any future games you'd like me to play. And subscribe so you never miss an episode. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. I didn't mean to do that.